Good afternoon. It's 2.37 p.m. 1015 of calendar 2013. One of the things that I would like to bring to our MMT trading division and our staff worldwide, all of our people within the U.S. and worldwide, is, is that the U.S. AAA rating put on negative watch by Fitch on delayed budget. That's come out today. And the thing about it is that will give them all the more reason now to come to an agreement. We want to let everyone know that the government is playing with fire. We updated the S&P 500 and the Dow and all the indexes that sold off. They could not get out of themselves. They could not act as grown-ups. They could not make a deal. Now, it's not the end of the world. But what I will tell you is, is that we said that this could happen. They're not going to default on anything, folks. We already said that. But the volatility is here. And the thing that they did was that they put it on negative watch. But just the idea of putting it on negative watch is a disgrace to the U.S., so, look, we're not going to not pay our bills in the U.S. They're prioritary. Uh, pri they're they're going to put their payments that they owe. They're going to pay. The thing about it is I will be going over this thoroughly with everyone. The U.S. was awarded the top credit ranking by New York-based S&P in 1941. You can go back all the years, and it's all right here. And we were downgraded before by the S&P 500 back in uh, 2011 when the whole fiasco started. So one of the things is that there is risk to the U.S. default, but they're not going to. I can tell you that now, and I've been saying that all along. What I can say is the following. We went through this back in August of 2011, the summer, I remember. And what I am saying is that it's a negative watch. It's, it's a downgrade to put it on negative watch. That's what they've done. And correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a really big thing. And they did not reach an agreement today. And they continue to argue with one another. It's going to create more volatility in the indexes. That's why the S&P and the Dow sold down. But we're in earnings season. Look at the government is one issue. But the rest of the issues are going to be these earnings that are coming out. And we've had a great run in calendar 2013. 2014 is not going to be the same. Okay, because it's not. Fitch credit rating on negative watch. As of now, as of today, as of the time of this video that I'm putting out. We already knew that this was going to happen. If they don't get their house in order, Moody's is going to come out. And other rating agency firms are going to downgrade the U.S. Listen. They're going to kick the can down the road because they are. One thing that we're very good at here is the fundamentals on the U.S. economy and worldwide economies and fundamentals on stocks. This is the headline at 2.19 p.m. Eastern. Negative watch because your government, our government, they can't do their job. And they're playing with fire. And it's going to send a message around the world. However, it's going to create a lot of volatility that we can make money at. So when stocks drop and hit support levels, we buy them. When they get overbought, we sell them short. We continue to do what works. And that is trade the ranges on the high flyers. Earnings season is not starting off good at all. Not at all. Domino's Pizza missed. Citigroup missed. Yahoo missed. What do I mean by that? They guide in the quarter down. There's a lot of them. LLTC missed. JP Morgan didn't do that well, nor did Wells Fargo last week. 
we have just entered the earning season so what I can tell you is is that we're on negative watch right now that's a warning from Fitch on negative watch if they don't get it in together if they don't get it together there'll be another downgrade and if there's another downgrade that's going to send a message to the world and the world a message we don't need to send that kind of message because we don't the bulls don't need that in their corner right now so like I said the bulls have had a good year first year since 2000 really since 1999 stocks are overvalued markets are fully priced there's a lot of things that are going to happen closing out this year and we're in it right now we're in the government part of it but outside of the government who cares they're going to have to deal with corporate profits and what they look like moving forward and where is the CEO sentiment index listen it's been a great expansion since 2009 five years worth of earnings multiples have been going higher and higher and higher those multiples are going to have a very hard time moving forward in calendar 2014 all you need to do is do the following we have all the analysis before the fact not after the fact and we have a big trading division because we do and if I were you I would get with it and take advantage of the volatility once again Bloomberg is where we found this and we're on negative watch by Fitch the index is into down the Nasdaq composite there's that multi-year exuberant high in the high flyers there was the pullback once again the Dow was down 133 points today because it was down 133 Nasdaq down 21 utilities down 6.46 transports they had great rallies last couple days they had a slight pullback Nasdaq 100 Russell 2000 has been an extreme bull that we haven't seen in a long time S&P had its big rally we updated it all so once again stay tuned for the earnings season stay tuned for the government volatility and stay tuned for the negative credit rating that we just got